Meanwhile, at the shunting yards, Lady and Emily were shunting trucks together in the yard. We're shunting trucks together. Wow, I haven't seen it so busy since Henry had an accident and Diesel had to take over and proved and he was showing off that he was the world's strongest engine. Emily saw how much Lady was in a rush shunting trucks. Wow, Lady, who made you Santa's number one helper? Oh, I really just want to finish my jobs done early so I can... I just really want to finish... I really want to finish my job done early so I can go out with Thomas at Nafford Station tonight. Or else I'll be spending the whole night here shunting trucks. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Ah, lady. I am so proud of the... How much you're ge getting your jobs done. So, I'm going to let you finish early and go to Nafford Station tonight with Thomas, just like you and he planned. You really mean it, sir? But what about all these other cars? Never mind that. I'll have Diesel shunt all these trucks. He won't mind. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thomas said to meet him at Nafford Station. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, Emily. Sir Tom Hat is the best. Then go to Nafford, Emily. My, Then go to Nafford, lady girlfriend. See ya, girlfriend. See ya, girlfriend. Lady went to find Thomas at Nafford. Now to find Lady. Now to find Thomas. But, but already. Ooh! Ow! They found each other by bumping into each other. In, into each other's buffers. Thomas, Lady. I was looking for you. I was just heading to Nafford Station like we planned. Nafford Station like we planned. We really gotta stop talking at the same time. I was just heading to Nafford Station for our date tonight. So was I. You got your jobs done early? Yep. Except I did have an accident along the way to, to Brendam. But Edward took my stone cars and I already took... The diesel fuel to the diesel works and spare engine parts to the steam works. That's good. I already got my job done and Sir Tom and Matt let me off early. Then who's going to take over the yard? Diesel will. Ugh. Let's head to Nafford then. All right. Here we go. But when Thomas and Lady got to Nafford Station, they were surprised to see that all the lights haven't been set up yet. What's going on? The Station Master explained. The Station Master explained. Some of the light bulbs are broken because the workman accidentally dropped them. So we can't put up the Christmas so we can't put up all the Christmas lights. Oh, I was really looking forward to having the lights shine on us. Me too, lady. Me too. Then, Thomas had an idea. When I was passing through Brendam Docks, when, with, when I was puffing with Edward... Well, actually, when I was passing through Brendam Docks, taking those 
diesel fuel cars. I saw a freight car with spare Christmas lights. I can just go down to the docks and pick them up and bring them back here to Nafford. But it'll be too late by the time you get back. Don't worry, lady. We'll both go together. You can come with you can come with me. You can come with me. Oh, okay. So Thomas and Lady puff to Brendam Docks. They collected the lights and they puffed back to Nafford. And that night, Thomas and Lady looked at the Christmas lights. And they had the loveliest romantic Christmas night of their life. Just then... Emily and James, James showed up. Emily, James, what are you both doing here? We came to see the Christmas lights at Nafford Station. Huh, I guess we all four love bird engines came to see Nafford Station Christmas lights and had them all shine up, shine down on us. Just like Mr. Sun in the summertime. Say, Thomas, I've heard that you had an accident. Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot about it. <gasps> you had an accident, Thomas? It's nothing to worry about, lady. Come on, Thomas, tell us about it. What happened? So, Thomas told Lady, Emily, and James all about his accident. How he came off the track and landed in a field of snow. That happened to me once. When I wanted to pull the presence train when I was working with Edward. And I wasn't slowing down and taking care when the tracks were icy. And I came off the tracks and into a snowy field. James, don't remind Thomas. No, it's okay, Emily. Edward told me the whole story. Okay. Oh, Thomas. Something bad could have happened to you. And you could have... We could have both spent our life at the Steamworks. Spending Christmas. Spending the whole Christmas at, at the Steamworks. Oh, lady. No matter what happens to me, you'll always be my love. Lady bumped Thomas because she loved her, because she loved him so much. She was happy that Thomas was okay. Emily thought that it was adorable what when Lady, huh, when Lady bumped Thomas, so she did the same to James. Boom! But that made James annoyed. Emily, what'd you do that for? Sorry, I was doing what Lady did to Thomas, James. Come on, guys, don't fight. It's Christmas. Yeah. Sorry, Emily. I'm sorry too, James. Thomas, Lady, Emily, and James let the lights shine down them. They were both happy. They were all happy to be together at Nafford Station on Christmas. Merry Christmas, lady. Merry Christmas, Thomas. Merry Christmas, lady. Merry Christmas, James. Merry Christmas, Emily.
when love's given to Just to let you guys know, this isn't my real narration voice. It's a narration voice from Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. So I'll let him continue the end of the story. So in the end, it's love that's the reason that Christmas is more than a gift-giving season. It's a time with our loved ones to show that we care when families and neighbors come together to share. So this Christmas season, let us all do our parts to keep Christmas spirit alive in our hearts.